Pastor, when I was thinking and praying about what to say here, I asked myself, where am I going? And I remembered this is called the house of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allow me to congratulate all of you for supporting this vision. It is not easy to believe a man who comes into your life with a Bible and tells you, I am preaching the gospel of Jesus. Will you come and hear? Sio raisi kumwamini mtu wa maya nakuja na Biblia akuambia ni naubiri habari za Yesu njo unifuati. You have done yourself good. Nyinyi mumejifanyia vizuri. Because I know the foundation onto which they are built. You are not confused, you are not lost. And thank you for believing in your pastor. Thank you for supporting the dream he has. And continue doing so year in year out. I was here during the launch. And I told the pastor what I have seen here is pure progress. The joy of any father is to see the children do well. I super celebrate Pastor Sam. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep doing that. I want to say thank you, team. God bless you for carrying the dream. I didn't miss that I'm not in gates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because Pastor can tell you we believe in worship. He has grown in that atmosphere. And the beautiful part of this church is that you have allowed your team just to do what you have done. I am excited because every time God looks down on men and he sees worship, God is excited. Worship team, I hug all of you in Jesus' name. Keep doing that. 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 You will never regret the results of your life. Never. So, I was saying, let me come to my message. So, I said, I'm going to the house of faith. I've never been there. I've never preached there. Because when I came here last, I came here to uh, just be part of the Lord. So, the Lord told me, go preach. Go, go preach where they are. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Because I don't believe this is a slogan. This is not a slogan. I believe there's a lot of faith here. And we came to carry more. Whatever is in abundance in this house, so we have to carry a bit of it ourselves. Because I've seen how tremendous you have worked here. It means faith is attached. Is at work. So allow me to preach on the force of faith. Force. Somebody say force. Faith is a force. So allow me to talk about the force. Of faith. And because when I was, uh, thank you, son. Thank you. Mm. When I was when I was in Bible school. My lecturer who taught me what we call homiletics. He told me when you go to preach, especially where you have never been. Prepare a sermon outline. Because there are churches who cannot even preach before the bishop reads what you are going to preach. Mm. Yes. 
Ndiyo. They, they take you to the vestry and they say produce your sermon. If wana you have written, they say uh, we are sorry. Wana kuingiza kwa chumba wanakuambia wacha tuone mahubiri yako kama una wanakuambia samahani. Let us read it first. We wa, wacha tusome kwanza mahubiri yako. Then we see whether you preach it here. Kisha tutaona kama wewe umehitimu kuhubiri hapo. So kindly hapo. allow me to give your pastor my outline. Eh eh kwa hivyo mchungaji amepeana mahubiri yake. It's not that I'm under any law. Sio eti yuko chini ya sheria. I know he believes in me, he trusts what I'm going to say, but it's important. Anaamini mchungaji na amini kila watu mchungaji anasema lakini muhimu. To share with him. Kushiriki pamoja naye. What I'm about to preach. Kila ambao tuko tayari kuhubiri. So allow me to just say this. Niruhusu niseme hivi. The scriptures I want us to just have a reading. Give me Hebrew chapter 11 verse number 32:35 32 35 Hebrew 11 The Bible says and what more shall I say for the time would fail me to tell of Gideon Barak Samson and Jephthah also of David and Samuel and prophets keep moving don't interpret that kindly let's just do the reading because of time uh, who through faith subdued kingdoms worked righteousness obtained promises stopped the mouth of lions keep moving Quench the violence of fire, escape the age of the sword, out of the weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Continue up to 35. Women received their dead, uh, raised to life again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. And give me also numbers 13, 26 to 30. I will not read all the scriptures. Numbers, numbers 13, 26, 30. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel in the wilderness of Paran. At Kadesh they brought, they brought back word to them and all and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And the Bible says, then they told him and said, we went to the land where you send us. It truly flows with milk and honey and this is its fruits. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. Uh -huh. The Amalekite dwell in the land of south and Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains and the Canaanites dwell by the sea along the banks of Jordan. And 30, then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and take possession for we are well able to overtake it. In Jesus' name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So kindly allow me to say the following. Kwa hivyo ni rusu ni seme ya fotayo. Quite first. Kwa haraka. That I, I, have, I have three objectives on this message. Ya kwa mba ni na malengo matatu kwa ujumbe, ujumbe huu. Three objectives on this message. Malengo matatu kuhusu and ujumbe huu. I'm going to talk about understanding faith. Ya mini tazungumzia kuelewa imani. Understanding satanic attacks on your faith. Kuelewa mashambulizi ya shetani kuhusu imani yako. And how to overcome by faith. Na jinsi ya kushinda kwa imani. Because faith is a key thing. Mana imani ni, ni jambo la muimu. Is a key thing. Ni jambo la muimu. And I want to give a quote that if you do not know what is possible you will settle for what is available our God wants faith that would drive you in the arena of the possibility you look at a mountain it looks a mountain but Una, the faith within you tells you I will climb it you have to develop a positive attitude on the situations you are facing in life. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivered them from them all. But allow me to say this. 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 Allow me to say this.
allow me to say as the scripture declares in Roman chapter 10 17 I believe that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God we are here in the next 30-40 minutes to speak to you what will build your faith because by whatever you hear faith is built as you hear me tell you the possibilities that are there for your life that you are able to make it you are going places if you are here and you have no baby I came to say it is possible that you can have a baby. You have been trying business one after the other and no success. But I came to say to you if God can help Zachary to make it in business and he's under the same grace with you, then God is not segregative. He will also help you to make it. So I came here for one thing. To tell you what Job chapter 6.25 declares. That right words are forceful. Positive words are creative words. Every time you stand before an ugly situation and you rise and you say no matter what the devil is trying out I know who I am I know whose I am I belong to God I am born again Holy Ghost filled possibilities are on my right and my left everything is possible and you begin to say I can do all things no, through Christ who strengthens me you look at your you ugly situation and you say ugly situation I command you to turn around because there is a possibility of things turning in my favor are you hearing what I'm saying the God you serve is a loving God the Bible calls him love he does not give love but the Bible says God is love and because you are the darling of his heart something good is about to happen to you because you are the darling of God he will not look down upon your cry. David said, I cried unto the Lord and he hearkened to my cry. I lifted my eyes upon the hills. From where cometh my help? For my help cometh from the Lord. I came here not just to excite your mood. I came here not just to make you feel a little happy. I came here to pull us a seal of God's promise in your life. To say that you are coming out of your situation. Not because I came, but because the word of God says so. Not because I came, but because the word of God says so. I came to tell you, even though you have failed, you are not a failure. You are a failure. You are a failure. You are a failure. You are a failure. Failing is a process towards success. I came here to tell you if Jehovah God has pronounced himself that there is no word which I God has spoken concerning my people that will not be done every single good word every kingdom promise ever made by God for me towards me he has said it will not fail. It will not fail. It will not fail. I say it will not fail. The word of God is true. It is founded 
rested on your faith if you can believe it you can see it if you can see it you can have it if you can have it you can live it hallelujah hallelujah that is who you are. Who you are born to win. Anointed for your generation. Lifted by the spirit of the king of glory. Put into a place. And the Bible said I have been elevated. Into a place. Where you are able to look at your enemy like this. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. I love this God. I love this God oh, because he's a good and faithful God. Isaiah declares in 50 verse number 4 that Lord has given me the tongue of the land that I should know how to speak a word in season. I declare carelessness of our lips shall never be found near us again. Saying in you are not finished. You are not finished. We've got to know Lazima tujue. what to say, when to say, Ki, how to say. It. Because the devil has always looked at what you say Mana to put shetani. you down. Ana, so Isaiah says the Lord has given me the tongue of the learned. Wanamenipa ule, 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 that I should know how to speak. Ya kumba, nijue, jinsi ya kunena. Listen to me child of God. Wa mungu. When you know how to speak. That is when you begin to demonstrate your faith. From days before faith has never been quiet. Faith has never been silent. Are you hearing me? From time before look at Caleb and Joshua we read here. They when and spied the land, Wakaena, waka they saw the land. Mji. They were 12 men. Watu Each man representing a whole family, a whole tribe of Israel. Israel. 10 men watu kumi went ahead wakasema, to say we are unable. Wakasema, sisi we are weaker. Sisi ni we are like grasshoppers. The land is good, yes, but we are not able to possess. Listen to me. Caleb was listening. Caleb Joshua was listening. Joshua Men of faith most of the time speak last. What They wait for the fools to talk their foolish. Then they step in. Because they who know their God, the Bible says they shall be strong. And they would do mighty things. So listen to me. Caleb and Joshua waited. And their season came. And they said, come, come and take the floor. Can you tell us what did you see? And they began. We went. Tulienda. We reached. Tukafika. We arrived. Tukafika pale. The land Inchi. is beautiful. Inchi nzuri. It is flowing Ina with milk Na maziwa. and honey. Na asali. And the people Na watu pale. are big. Ni wakupwa. They ni are sons of Anakim. Ni wana wa Anaki. But hear me. Lakini sikizeni. As little as we are. Jinsi tulivyo wadogo. As small as we are. Jinsi tulivyo wachache. As weak as we look. Jinsi tulivyo wataifu. We are well to able. The mouth and the tongue of the learned. Mitomo na ulimi ya walio wenye hekima. You need to learn the language of God. Lazima ujifunze luga ya mungu. The language of God. Luga ya mungu. Sikumo da niubili kansani pasa. Nikambia watu. Mungu akiteleza ulimi. Akuite mwanamuki. The easy part niyo wewe kubadilika saa hiyo hiyo. Mungu alisema, "Excuse me, oh, your your brother, you are man." Awewe ni ndugu, wewe ni ndugu. The moment 
he say woo wakati, even before he say woo man, wakati tu ulimi utendeleze useme mwanamke God has no mistake Mungu ana makosa the moment mistakes hear God they correct them wakati makosa yanasikiza Mungu yanajiweka sawa so mm. if, if, if God calls you muhindi you turn mm. color na Mungu akisema wewe ni muhindi unabadilika saa hiyo hiyo Mm. What to you if God will speak a word and you continue remaining the same? Ole wako kama Mungu atanena na uendelee kupakia hivyo hivyo. He says he has given you the tongue of the Lord. Anasema amekupa ulimi wa wenye hekima. Learned people there is a way they talk. Wenye hekima kuna jinsi wanavyonena. Number 1, you think before talking. Wanafikiria ama wanawaza kabla kuongea. So they don't diarrhea words. Wow. They construct statements. Na waamwagi tu maneno, wanapanga maneno yao. Learned people are rational thinkers what do i keep on what am i want to pima mark when i figure out azuri they way what they about to say wana is pima. it making sense wana pima kile ambacho wanasema kama italeta maana because kwa sababu faith is foolishness imani ni upumbavu mm. Mm. because listen nisikize if god tells you pass here mungu akikwambia pita hapa and there is a wall na kuna ukuta pale you don't turn to god and you tell god you know god wewe umgeuki mungu mwambie wewe mungu there is a wall here kuna ukuta hapa terrible mistake makosa hiyo what you should do like 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 abraham kile ambacho unapaswa kufanya kama abraham you say god you say that i pass here unasema wewe mungu umesema nipite hapa you say that here unasema hapa You you say I pass here wewe mungu umesema nipite hapa i said pass there sio pale nipite hapa wewe unasonga 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 fike pale let the world behave the way it will behave wacha nyuta ikue vile itakuwa <laughs> most of the time the world will not move mara mengi nyuta haitasonga ama itabomoka why kwa nini because what you had kwa sababu kile ambacho ulisikia was the word ni neno and you acted na wewe ulitenda neno hilo but this wall will not move because you had the word ukuta huu utasonga kwa sababu wewe ulisikia neno this wall ukuta huu will give you way itakupa njia because you will go into your spirit kwa sababu utaingia kwa roho yako mix the word uchanganye neno hilo with the force of faith na nguvu ya imani look at the wall ukisame ukuta huu say i carry in me an authority na useme nimebeba ndani yangu mamlaka my god said i pass here mungu wangu anasema nipite hapa advise you yourself and give me way wewe unyuta nitengeze njia ndio mm. it was not easy for the children of Israel when they were going around the walls of Jericho. Haikuwa rahisi wana wa Israeli walipokuwa nazunguka nyuta ya Jericho. God said it. Mungu alisema, but it took them seven days. Lakini kawagarimu siku saba walking doing the same. Wakiwa wanazunguka tu, wanazunguka tu. Wanazunguka. Doing what they did yesterday. Wakifanya kile walifanya jana today wanafanya leo tomorrow wanafanya kesho the following tomorrow kesho kutwa the tomorrow of the tomorrow kesho tomorrow ya kesho ya kesho until the seventh day paka siku ya saba and the seventh day it was not just one siku ya saba haikukuwa tu mara moja he told them on the seventh day akawaambia siku ya saba do all that you have done in six days wewe fanya ile umefanya kwa siku sita yafanya yote hiyo siku saba on the day of your breakthrough siku ya upenyo wako divine requirement is higher maelezo ya kiteua iko juu do what you have done from day 1 to day 6 wewe fanya kile ambacho umefanya siku hizo sita siku ya saba so on the seventh day kwa hivyo siku ya saba they woke up very early wakaamka asubuhi na mapema because it was not a joke kwa sababu haikuwa mzaha Jericho is not a small place Jericho sio mahala padogo They had to prepare early before the sun scorches Walikuwa wajiandae kabla jua ianze kuachoma God said Mungu alisema God said Mungu alisema God said Mungu alisema six times Mara sita and the wall na ukuta ule had not even cracked U- Ukuta hata haina mwanya haikupata mwanya But hear me Lakini sikize He told them Akawaambia Now the seventh round sasa kwa mara ya saba you will shout 
Nyinyi mtapaza sauti. As you rotate. Mnapozunguka and they began. Na wakaanza. They went. Wakazunguka. They shouted. Wakapaza sauti. They were not even looking at what is happening on the cracks. Are you seeing cracks? Are you seeing cracks? No. Hawakuwa na tazama ukuta kama inaporomoka. Ah. Ah. You know, a, 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 a certain theologian told me unajua mwana theology mmoja akaniambia that the way the wall of Jericho collapsed jinsi nyuta ya reliko ilivyobomoka it didn't fall either in or out haikuporomoka ndani au nje because when you read the bible it says kwa sababu unaposoma maandiko inasema when it collapsed they walked on a flat ground ukuta ulipoporomoka wakatembea katika nchi tambarare so there is a high possibility it's not written in the bible but this is the speculation of theologians kwa hivyo kuna uwezekano kuja andiko kwenye maandiko lakini hivi ndivyo wana theolojia wanasema as they were shouting walipokuwa wakipaza sauti it was sinking ilikuwa inazama inazama shout paza sauti unapaza sauti Inazama. Let me tell you somebody. Wacha nikwambie mtu. There are some demons that will not go until you know how to shout for joy for Kuna your God. Kwa yataondoka mpaka upaze sauti kwa Mungu wako. God will make a way. Mungu atatengeza njia. But you need to shout my Lakin sister. Lakini lazima upaze sauti dada. God will make a way. Mungu atatengeza njia. My brother here me you have to respond to God. Ndugu nisikie lazima uchipe mtu wa Mungu. Hebu nisikie kelele za Angwe hapa. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni mocha tu watu wanakuanga wangwana. Mm. Ataenda kwa ile inaitwa chumba cha kuzaliesha. Mm. Eh? Kuna konga na soprano na alto sauti zote. Hiyo ingine sijui ni gani. Because <laughs> kwa sababu unasikia anga mama mama analia huku mtoto analia kule mm. why because it is a place of producing life maana ni mahala pa kupata uhai anywhere life is being produced popote uhai inapatikana there is some noise kunao sauti oh god mm bwana anyway mm. basta nisipomaliza hii injili utaendelesha uko nayo uh. <laughs> Because when my time is catching up with me okay listen to this the bible says in second first corinthians chapter 2 verse number 13 that these things we also speak and ikona sema vitu hivi pia tunanena korintho wa kwanza not in words which man's wisdom teaches sio kwa maneno ambayo hekima ya wanadamu inafunza but what the holy spirit teaches lakini kile ambacho roho mtakatifu anafunza and he saying comparing spiritual things akasema kulinganisha mambo ya kiroho with the spiritual na vitu vya kiroho let me tell you one of the most super 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 spiritual thing that god has put in your life wacha nikwambie mambo kuu moja kuu ya kiroho mungu ameweka kwa maisha yako and i told people this and and, and maybe sometimes people here here they they believe that mara mengi naambia watu pengine mtu anasikia pande hii inatokea pande hii Somebody shout after me say words. Tuseme maneno. I don't like your energy. Mm. Can somebody shout words? Words are spirits. Are spirits. Okay now now that you know let's Sasa unajua it. sasa hivyo. Say words are spirits. Words are spirits. Maneno ni roho. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. Kama haujui hivyo na wewe ni Mkristo wa miaka tatu kwa wokovu there is a problem kuna shida kama ujui maneno hayo let me tell you how witches behave wacha nikwambie jinsi wachawi waganga na warogi wanafanya kazi mchawi hanid uje kwake akuguzaguze akupapasa ndio akuchawi mhm ah 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 what witches need kile ambacho wachawi wanahitaji is a point of contact ni kitu tu ambacho wanaweza ungamanika nacho wanaulizanga mtu alikuwa anakaanga kiti gani anaambiwa hiyo kiti mm. eh msaidie hiyo kiti anaenda na hiyo kiti anakaa kwa kona yake anaita miungu zake na anaongeanga vitu eh anaitana anaongea maneno hata ingine we hausiki akishaongea upande ule vitu vinaanza kukufanyikia unanielewa mm-hmm. what is happening ni nini kinatendeka words are spirits maneno ni roho so and it, it, it's, it's a pity let me say it's a pity na ni ya kuhuzunisha that the, the children of light 
wana wanuru sons of god wana wa mungu have underestimated the capacity and voltage of god's power in their words wamepuuza uzito na nguvu ya mungu katika maneno yao so you are very careless but the world is too careful kwa hivyo wewe si mwangalifu lakini watu wa ulimwengu ni watu waangalifu too careful wana ni wa makinika waangalifu wale wana siasa asama waisa wana siasa sasa wako na hekima zaidi than even some people in church hata wengine kuliko wengine kanisani they come with a word hustler nation wanakuja na hiyo neno taifa la kungangana right now believe it or don't sasa wewe amini usiamini hustler nation is a spirit taifa la kungangana hiyo ni roho you cannot change it wewe uwezi badilisha it is catching people inashika watu affecting people inagusa watu people can die for something like that mtu anaweza kufa tu sababu ya kitu hasla nation kungangana taifa la kungangana go to central province that word has taken political wewe ingia katika maeneo ya mkoa wa kati neno hilo limechukua vijana tayari imagine karaoke mtu anasimama anauliza mnataka bbi ama mnataka wili baro mtu anasema tupatie wili baro What is that? What do you call that? Hiyo ni nini? Tunaita nini hiyo? Words have been spinned. Maneno yamewachiliwa in the air. Yamewachiliwa kwenye anga. Spinned in high speed. Yamewachiliwa kwa upesi. Released in high voltage. Yamewachiliwa kwa njia kuu. And they come today. Na wanakuja leo. You hear same thing 10 times. Unasikia neno hilo mara 10. Tomorrow. Kesho. If your will was this way kama mapenzi yako ilikuwa njia hii whatever you have heard frequently kile ambacho umesikia kila mara begin to impact your decision inaanza kushawishi uamuzi wako you begin to turn first you turn your neck wewe kwanza unabadilisha shingo lako unageuza shingo within no time bila kujua your entire mass is turning mwili wote unageuka You say I think there is something about this husband. Unasema kuna kitu kuhusu taifa ili kungangana. Kila mahali words are spirits. Maneno ni roho. May the house of faith discover this today. Neno nyumba ya imani tambue hii leo. Give us back Job 6:25 because I I I want you to understand that if negative words can be spirit then positive words are more of spirit ayubu 625 kama maneno ya kinyume ni roho maneno mazuri ni maroho zaidi yana nguvu zaidi job in his days of trouble ayubu katika siku zake za shida never departed from this reality yeye yeah, hakuacha ukweli huu he said akasema oh eh hey, tazama he, he he was caught in a revelation akapatikana kwa ufunuo fulani he said how forceful are right words tazama yalivyo ya kuumiza maneno ya kweli he had tried words akajaribu maneno negative negative maneno ya kinyume ya kinyume he got its power akapata nguvu yake then he went to right words kisha akaingia kwa maneno mazuri tested them akayacharipu and then he made a conclusion in verse 25 na kisha akafanya mwisho wake 25 how forceful tazama ya livyo how powerful tazama ya livyo how productive tazama yanayo masaa how life changing our right words tazama maneno ya kubageuzi ni azuri kina mna gani from today kutoka leo i give you an assignment ninakupa jukumu begin to speak to your destiny anza kunenea hatima yako no matter what the devil has done to frustrate your destiny house of faith nyumba ya imani stand by the word proclaim that word tangaza neno hilo look down upon your situation tazama hali yako refuse to be caught up in the arena of your persecutors people may hold negative opinion about you i hear me child of god whatever men think whatever men suppose whatever they presuppose 
does not matter if you have a right Chochote. word Wane to turn fikiria. around the negative word. Any time people will stand and say you will die, tell them I will leave. <laughs> uh, you will not make it. Tell them I am making it. <laughs> Whenever they say you will amount to nothing, say when I am a mountain. My serving to a kingdom result. Uh, the Bible says, and he gave them power to become the sons of God. When you discover what that means, to become a son. Is to receive the authority to receive dominion to receive rights to be a co heir with Jesus, the only Son of God. Today, hear me when you receive Jesus, when you receive the Holy Ghost, you possess. Power to become a child of the Most High God. As a child of the Most High God, your words are royal. Your words are powerful. Your words are authoritative. Your words are creative in nature. Do not be quiet about a nasty thing being done be not quiet about the happenings in our nation we carry authority we carry power we carry dominion we carry authority upon your attack there is power of life there is power of death but I make a choice how forceful are right words I was speak positive. I will proclaim positive. I will declare what I believe whether I see it or not. I will speak as I hear. I will declare as I see in the spirit. People may see differently. People may think differently. But I am hearing differently. I am seeing differently. Whatever I believe. Whatever I believe. Whatever I believe. Believe that I will say, that I will speak, that I will declare, I will say, I am healed, I will say, I am blessed, I will say, I am highly super favored, I will declare, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not wonder, I will declare, I can do all things through Jesus Christ. Who strengthens me? I would declare the Lord is my Alpha and my Omega, my beginning and my end. What shall man do to me when I am filled of the Spirit? What shall man do? I would rather fear Him who can kill both the soul and the Spirit. But I would declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Come on, if you love Jesus, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Listen, child of God. The scripture declares the things we also speak. Not in the words of the wisdom of men, but as the spirit of the Lord teaches listen to me second Corinthians chapter number 4 and verse 13 second Corinthians 4 and verse 13 listen to what God is declaring and since we have same spirit of faith I thank God I'm in the house of faith what makes a man a man is the spirit of a man what makes this house to be a house of faith is the spirit of faith and the scripture says and since we have seen we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written, written. 
The Bible says, I believe. And therefore I spoke. We also believe. And therefore speak. Come on, be not quiet. Whenever Jehovah has said something concerning your life, never ye be quiet. But I decree and declare, I shall say as it is. I shall pronounce as it is. When God says, I will bless you and multiply you, I rise on the scripture. When the Lord says, I made you the head and not the tail, I take it as it is. I am not the tail. I am the head. I am not beneath. I am above. The work of my hands shall be blessed. Because Jehovah my God has already blessed me. My womb is blessed. Because he has declared the offspring of your womb shall take over nations. I decree and I declare the greatness of your children is being birthed by faith. May the womb of your spirit today receive a seed. A seed to produce after God. A seed to give birth to something bigger, something greater, something durable than what you are now. Better children are being born. Great men are being born. May the Lord impregnant you today. May somebody be pregnant of the word. Somebody receive the word. Receive fertilization of the supreme word of the living God. That from today you are beginning to nurse pregnancy. People may not see it because it's only one month old. People may not see it because it's maybe three weeks old. Maybe it's two months old. But I came to advise you that thing is growing. It is growing. It is growing. After the first trimester you are going to the second trimester. It will begin to manifest. People can never hide the seed of God. When the seed time has come you cannot hide it. You cannot hide what God has planted. You may try to behave like you don't have it. You may put a, do you call it corset? You may put a corset. Tie the pregnancy. But what to you? Every day that goes is counting. The thing inside of you is living. And is growing. Soon or later. Whether you like it or not, you will change your clothes. Soon or later, whether you like it or not, you will change your walking style. Soon or later, whether you believe or you don't, you are about to bring life to us. And in this house, I declare there is no abortion of vision. I say, no abortion of vision. I decree here there is no premature death of vision. Whatever you have dreamt that Jehovah your God gave to your spirit must come to fruition. You must manifest something. You must give back to something. I say you must give back to something. The devil is a liar. He said you cannot produce. But here come the word of God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And whoever God makes fearfully is fearfully blessed. Jesus mighty name. Have your seat. Dukai. To Kai. Listen to me. I, I don't know sometimes how to. You know, I have not even started preaching. Pastor can you tell you. My sermon, you can see, it's, it's not even. Eh, not started objective one. I'm laying foundation. Ni tu misingi. 
Because I know I will be invited again. So I will not finish what I, I started. But let, let, let's just for a few minutes look at what is faith. You don't have to write. But hear me. By simple definition. Let's understand what is faith. Number one, faith is an invisible force that releases visible results. How many have ever seen a tornado? Or a powerful wind. What you see is what is happening, but you cannot tell the color of wind. It is an invisible force that when it passes, you can only see the results. That is what faith is. Number two, faith must be alive for it to function. Dead faith does not function. Dead faith does not move. Dead faith doesn't speak. Three. Faith is the voice of your conviction. What is it that convicts? You. What drives you? That becomes your faith. So faith is the voice of conviction. In a believer's life. Four. Faith is the partnership of humanity with the divinity for establishment of possibility in the earth. Imani ushirika wa kiungu na wanadamu kutimiza kiungu limwenguni. Partnership. Ushirika. Come here. Ndiyo, jo. He's, he's, stand there. He's, he's human. Yeah, I'm divine. Mimi ni kiungu, mimi kiungu. Put yeah. a joint. Wame shikamana pamoja. Then we begin to do things. Kicha tunaanza kufanya mambo. Divinity and humanity. Kiungu na utu. Con, conjoined by so where God goes human goes what God does human does what God wants human wants thank you that's the reason we say faith is the glue that brings human and divine into partnership for establishment of possibilities here on earth. For with God all things are possible. And for without faith it is impossible to please God. So when you begin to understand that concept you believe. You act. And the results become visible. Number five. Faith is a living force connected from a living word of the living God to produce a living results. I said, is living force connected to the living word of the living God to produce living proofs testimonies that people hear and see begins yanaanza at faith yanaanza na imani 6 la sita Faith is the acceptance of spiritual responsibility. For the achievement of practical impossibilities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They needed wine but Jesus told them to pour water in pots. Jesus did not teach them faith. He helped them to demonstrate 
akawasaidia kupirisha imani hiyo so when we say faith is acceptance of spiritual responsibility kwa hivyo tukisema imani ni kukubali majukumu ya kiroho god said, jesus said go go fill go fill all pots with water kwa sababu Yesu akasema neneni mjaze mitungi yote na maji at that level it was okay kwa wakati huo ilikuwa tu ni neno ilikuwa sawa they just did it Awa wakamwaga wakaanza kuchaza mitungi na maji. They came back. Wakarejea. Jesus we have done it. Wakasema Yesu tumemaliza. And he asked them, what are you do? What are you waiting? Go sab, go sab, go sab. Yesu akawauliza mnangoja nini? And then he pewa table. Take to the prince. And then he pewa geni wa heshima. And that's where the problem began. Na hapo ndipo shida ikaanza. Jesus These people are waiting for wine. Yesu watu hao wanasubiri mvinyo. You tell us to serve water. Wewe unatuambia tupeane maji. How? itakuwa vipi na kwanza sio bottled water sio dasani sio maji ya chupa ya nyungu ni maji imewekwa kwenye mtungi ama nyungu Jesus said I said go serve Yesu akawaambia nendeni mkawape watu the mother came to them and he said quiet quiet whatever he tells thee do it don't question mama ya Yesu akawaambia mnyamaze kile ambacho amewaambia fanyeni msiulize so look here kwa hivyo tizama hapa so divine responsibility begins here Jukumu ya kiroho inaanzia hapa. Where you fetch water? Mahala unateka maji as water. Unachukua unateka maji kama maji. But in your mind. Lakini kwa mawazo yako. You believe. Unaamini it is wine. Ni mvinyo. And comfortably. Na kwa 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 kwa, 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 kwa uraisi. And boldly. Na ujasiri. You go to the high table. Wewe unaenda kwenye meza ya wageni. Knowing what you have drawn is water. Wewe unajua kile ambacho umebeba ni maji. But you have a responsibility to open because Lak- the master has said lakini uko na jukumu ya kutii kwa sababu mwalimu amesema when god wakati mungu observes obedience mungu anapotizama utiifu mixed with acceptance of responsibility ikiwa imechanganywa na kule kukubali majukumu the miracle happens miujiza inatendeka not between the porch and the The, the high table sio katikati ya ya tumtungi na 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 meza kuu pale because you can come too far kwa sababu unaweza fika mbali but don't deliver lakini wewe usifaulu usifaulu the real miracle miujiza kuu happen miujiza ilitendeka wakati huu at the moment wakati tu of turning the pot wakati wa kuanza kumwaga kumwaga maji kujaza ile mitungi And you don't even want to look because you you're going to be surprised this is a king waiting for a wine. Wewe utaki hata kuangalia ukimwaga kwa sababu mfalme anaweza kuwa na ngoja mvinyo. Mm. Wewe unaangalia kando. It was red. Ilikuwa imegeuka imebadilika mvinyo. The miracle. Miujiza happens. Ikatendeka when you go all the way. Miujiza inatendeka wakati unakamilisha unaenda mpaka mwisho. Wakati unatenda mpaka mwisho wa jambo. Remember the ten lepers. Kumbuka wanaokoma kumi. Nine of them. Wanaokoma tisa. Didn't go all the way. Hawakufika, hawakuenda mpaka mwisho. And Jesus said to the one who went all the way. Na Yesu akamuuliza yule ambaye alikamilisha safari hiyo. Your faith. Imani yako has made you Oh. Imani yako imekuponya kikamilifu. Another day. Siku nyingine. I will come. I will preach about the wholeness. Nitakuja nitakuja na nitahubiri kuhusu ukamilifu wote wa imani hiyo. Listen to me. Kwa sababu nisikize. Wholeness, ukamilifu is the very promise. Kamilifu ndio ile ahadi that was hidden by God ambao ilikuwa imefichika na Mungu in the covenant of our redemption katika agano ya ukombozi wetu wholeness ukamilifu when god says be made whole bwana anasema ukafanyike ukakuwe mkamilifu it is not just about your physical healing sio kuhusu tu uponyaji wa kimwili Wholeness carries your spiritual life. Ukamilifu umebeba maisha yako ya kiroho. Carries your financial life. Umebeba maisha yako ya kifedha. Carries your miracle of marriage. Imebeba hata ndoa yako ya miujiza. It covers the children God has given. Imefunika hata watoto ambao Mungu amekupa. Wholeness. Ukamilifu affects your mother. Unashawisha mnagusa hata mama yako mzazi. People who are 
called by your name. Watu ambao wameitanishwa pamoja na wewe. They become partakers wanafanyika wa kuhusishwa of the wholeness of God. Na ukamilifu wa Mungu. It happens at obedience. Inafanyika katika utiifu. So don't don't take it lightly. Kwa hivyo wewe usipuuze, usiapuuze. Obeying to the end. Kutii mpaka mwisho. Walking the walk to the end. Wewe kutembea safari mpaka mwisho. You receive the blessing of wholeness. Unapokea baraka za kuwa kamilifu. Listen to me. Nisikize. I'm just trying to behave but Najaribu tu kujizuia lakini Pastor, pastor. Chungaji, you will finish this gospel for chungaji, me. Chungaji utamaliza uta ujumbe huu tukienda. Number 6. La sita. Is it 6 or 7? Seven? 7. Faith is the spiritual force that translates the unseen realities into visible materiality. Imani ndio nguvu ambayo analeta yasiyoonekane yakafanyika ya kuonekana kiasili. When God say I will bless you. Mungu anaposema nitakubariki. Faith takes it. Imani inachukua in its form. Imani inachukua jinsi ilivyo and shape. Na hivyo kuna umbo wake as word. Na kama neno. Then faith. Kisha imani begins to manufacture material blessing. Yanaanza kuunda baraka za kimwili to finally manifest. Ili adhirike. So listen to me. Kwa hivyo nisikize. When I say pastor you are blessed. Ninaposema mchungaji umebarikiwa. I'm not referring to that car. Mimi mimi sielezei kuhusu gari hiyo ninaona. Or the good house in Kamulu. Ama nyumba nzuri uliyonayo. Ah ah. And that's the where Christians we go wrong. Na hapo ndipo wa Kristo tunakosea. You encounter a grace. Wewe unakutana na neema. You look down upon it. Wewe unapuuza neema hiyo and you miss it na kisha unakosa why kwa nini because you made a wrong definition of what blessing is kwa sababu wewe ulikuwa na mtizamo mbaya kuhusu baraka ni nini oh when you see somebody in a range rover he's so blessed he's eh, not ukiona mtu anaendesha gari kubwa unasema wewe huo mtu amebarikiwa hajabarikiwa maybe he's tall pengine aliiba gari hilo god cannot give you blessing by stealing mungu hawezi kupa baraka kwa kuiba that is not the method ah hiyo sio njia ya mungu or by bribing or by corrupting ama kwa kuongana mm -mm. let me tell you wacha nikwambie real blessing baraka za, za kweli true blessing baraka za kweli a spiritual ni ya kiroho they are so spiritual ni ni, 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 ni ya kiroho zaidi that anywhere you go you carry it ya kwamba popote wewe unapoenda umebeba baraka hizo but listen to me lakini sikize Every one of you here. Kila mmoja wenu hapa. You are loaded with blessings. Mmejawa na baraka tele. Loaded with blessings. Mmejawa na baraka tele. The reason I came. Sababu nilikuja is to give you a word. Nikukupa neno that will make the blessing in your life. Ambao itasababisha baraka iliyo kwa maisha yako to man, to begin manifesting results. Yaanze kudhirika na kuleta matokeo. Do you understand me? Unanielewa? This vehicles, all of them you're seeing here. Magari haya yote unayoona hapa nje. There is no blessing here. Hakuna baraka hapa. What I see is results. Kile ninachoona ni matokeo. Of blessing. Matokeo ya baraka. You understand? Unanielewa? Blessing are here. Baraka ziko hapa. Baraka ziko hapa. Okay. L let me let me qualify that word. Wacha nitimize neno hilo. Do you remember Jacob? Unakumbuka Yakobo? Not Jacob, Isaac. Unakumbuka Isaka when he was old. Isaka alipokuwa mzee. His eyes went dim. Macho yake yalikuwa hayaoni sasa. And he said, na akasema, he called his son. Akaita wana wake. He told Iso, come. Akamwambia Iso njoo. Go in the bush. Enda kule msituni. And get me a game. Ukanitafutia mnyama mzuri. Prepare me the savory soup I love. Ukaniandalie chakula kizuri ninachopenda, kitoweo kizuri ninachopenda. That I may eat. Niposa nile kitoweo hiyo. And drink the soup. Ili nikameze nikanywe soup. That ya. I may bless you. Niposa nikubariki. So did you see any any any, any land and and houses exchange? Weje uliona biashara ilifanyika ya kununua gari ama did, ama did, did you hear Isaac saying okay hii shamba kutoka hapa paka huko is yours and Yo, this from there Wewe uliona biashara ya kupeana magari au mashamba Did you ever read that? Ulisoma hiyo kwa maandiko? I 
after the mzee was filled baada ya baba kutosheka na kushiba even if there was a trick that went on hata kama kuna safari iliendelea what he did was the lord bless you kila macho baba alisema tu ni Mungu akubariki your children and your descendants watoto wako na uzao wako they become great in the world wafanyike waku kwenye nchi what he did was spoke the word kile ambacho alifanya ni alinena alinena neno tu and by now you know words are na sasa unajua maneno ni roho so when he spoke the words kwa hivyo alivon alipionena maneno hayo the words which are spoken out of love and faith maneno yalionenwa kutoka kwa upendo na imani they go out there yanaenda kule in the atmosphere of life yakiwa yamebeba na yamejawa uhai they begin to collect everything that you are missing in life maneno hayo yanaanza kukusanya yote ambayo umekosa kwa maisha and that's the reason why na hiyo ndio sababu some things were spoken over your life five years ago vitu vingine vilineno juu ya maisha yako miaka mitano iliyopita you forgot wewe uliyasahau but the words are still busy working lakini maneno bado yanayachambua yanayatafuta one day siku moja you will receive the shock of life wewe utashangazwa because it will arrive maana yatafika it will arrive yatafika it will arrive yatafika the moment it arrives wakati tu itafika that's the time people will say you are blessed no you are blessed long long time ago hapo ndipo watu wanasema umebarikiwa hapana ulibarikiwa kitambo what has happened is the manifestation of that blessing that has been working to bring materiality into reality kile kimeteneka ni udhihiriko baraka hizo ndio yamedhihirika sasa are you hearing unanisikiza that's why we are saying niposa tunasema faith imani is that which brings the the the, the realities into materiality imani ndio yanayoleta ya kweli yakafanyike ya, ya kutimizika the reality is that you are blessed kweli ni kwamba umebarikiwa materiality is that you can now show and people can see with naked eye kule kutimizika ni ya kwamba unaweza onyesha na watu wayaone kwa macho ya nje let me let me just do it and faith is the force uh, is the force responsible for clarity of vision Imani ndiyo hiyo nguvu inaleta maono yawe waziwazi yakadhihirike. You, you will never see clearly until you believe. Wewe hautaona waziwazi mpaka utakapoamini. Number 9 faith is believing the incredible, daring the unthinkable and doing the impossible. Imani ni kuamini yasiyowezekana, kujaribu yasiyowezekana. Do not fear today. Wewe usiogope leo. Dare it. Jaribu. Stand out and say I will do it. Simama na useme nitajaribu. Come what may I will do it. Aichalishi nitafanyika nitajaribu. Nobody died trying. I will do it. Hakuna aliyekufa akijaribu nitajaribu. It is daring. Ni kule kujaribu. The unthinkable. Kujaribu yasiyofikiriwa. People don't just copy paste others. Watu tu hawaigi wengine. It's good to learn from people but become yourself. Ni vizuri kujifunza kwa watu lakini wewe jifanye wewe kuwa wewe mwenyewe. And faith functions at the frequency of grace na, ma, na, na imani yanatendeka tu kule palipo na neema to every single man of faith kwa kila mtu wa imani grace was apportioned neema alipewa to function with faith atembe na imani hiyo and that's why niposa for instance kwa mfano i am a man of faith mimi ni mtu wa imani but i am not graced to be a pilot lakini sijapewa neema ya kufanyika rubani So if I go into a plane. Kwa hivyo nikiingia kwenye ndege, I tell the pilot na tuko 46 feet 46000 feet above the sea level. Mwambie yule rubani tukiwa juu kabisa kule juu zaidi. Give me the seat. Eh namwambia rubani wewe sasa ni am full of faith. Eh, I, wa, I, wa, I, wa, I want to land this plane. Niamkie sasa mimi nimechawa imani ningependa kuendesha ndege hili. We may arrive heaven before our time. Tunaweza fika mbinguni kabla ya wakati wetu. You know that? Najua hivyo. Faith. Imani. What is lacking? Nini nakosekana hapo? I have a lot of faith. Mimi niko na imani tele au imani mwingi. But I have no grace to function the faith. Lakini sina neema ya kutendekeza kazi imani hiyo. And that's the reason you see. Na niposa unaona 
people who are blessed in a way watu ambao wamebarikiwa kwa njia moja they do things with ease wanafanya vitu kwa uraisi what becomes a nightmare to others kile ambacho kinasumbua ama kinasumbua watu wengi went to the same school learned the same topic same subject same teacher same everything but to one is a nightmare to do this and to another is like a cup of water wanasoma chuo kimoja shule moja kwa mwingine kufanya kitu ni ngumu kwa mwingine ni rahisi sasa sam mm you are raising this team eh? but don't dare to do what they do wewe mchungaji unainua kikundi lakini usijaribu kufanya kile ambacho wanafanya. Acha sasa uone huyo dada alishika microphone hapa. Where is that sister? This this sister. You are so blessed my dear. Dada so angu umebarikiwa. You know she was, she was singing here like she's not even doing anything. She's just Ana, eh, she just eh, 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 doing what kukone. she's just feeling comfortable to do. Anafanya tu kile kwa urahisi kile ambacho wamepewa. Don't ask me to do that. Useni uulize nifanye hivyo. Are you hearing? Unanisikiza? Why I have faith kwanini mimi niko na imani no grace lakini sina neema hiyo so, so respect people's graces kwa hivyo tuheshimu neema watu wamebeba when you see people do certain things the way they do ukiona watu wanafanya vitu vingine jinsi wanavyofanya honor them waheshimu just honor them wewe waheshimu tu can i close acha tufunge let me close i'm jumping to the last chungaji anaenda mwisho pastor you teach the others chungaji wewe utafunza hizo zingine but conclusion hapo mwisho tukimalizia hapa conclusion because I can't, I can't, sasa hapa I can't finish tuwezi maliza yote but allow me to do the conclusion part of it niruhusu niende katika sehemu ya mwisho wa ujumbe huu amen amina the lord shall bless us bwana atatubariki and i close with this na ninafunga kwa kwa hii what you believe determines how you behave kile ambacho unaamini inaongoza jinsi wewe unakuwa na tabia and how you behave determines what you become na jinsi unavyokuwa na tabia inaongoza jinsi unavyofanyika faith imani influences actions inashawishi matendo actions produce behavior matendo yanaza tabia the bible say john 1:12 don't don't open there but as many received him to them he gave rights or power to become children of god to those who believe in Yohana his name Yohana 1:12 anasema kwa wote waliomwamini aliwapa nguvu na uweza ya kufanyika wana wa Mungu kwa wote walioamini what you believe number 2 determines what you declare la pili kile ambacho unaamini inaongoza kile ambacho unatangaza When you meet people who say I cannot keep on going take, telling people I'm born again I'm born again I'm born again why tell people I'm born again born again is in me Unapokutana watu wanasema mimi siwezi kienda nikiambia watu nimeokoka nimeokoa wokovu iko ndani yangu Whatever you believe Kile ambacho unaamini dictates what you say Inaongoza kile ambacho unasema I say I am born again because I believe I am born again Nasema nimeokoka kwa sababu nimeokoka Nimeamini what now you declare determines what can be cleared for you Kile ambacho unatangaza inaongoza kile ambacho sasa unaweza kukupewa ama kufanyika There are people who don't declare blessing Kuna, kuna watu ambao watangazi baraka They say that you are preaching prosperity gospel you Wanasema know? wewe tu unahubiri ujumbe wa kufanikiwa ujumbe wa kufanikiwa tu I ask, I ask like everybody else If you're not preaching prosperity gospel what are you preaching? Nikauliza kama uhubiri hiyo ujumbe ama mahubiri ya kufanikiwa unahubiri nini? Okay. Sawa. Opposite of prosperity is what? Kinyume ya kufanikiwa ni nini? Poverty. Sino, sino maskini. So this side we have poverty, this side we have prosperity. Kwa hivyo upande wetu na umaskini upande wetu na kufanikiwa. I come here in house of faith and I tell people I'm not a prosperity gospel preacher. So what am I? Ninakuja hapa nasema mimi sio mhubiri wa kufanikiwa. Na, na, mimi you, ni nani? Mimi ni mhubiri wa cannot exist in the in, in the in the vacuum. You you either life is in duality. Hauwezi ka kwa utupu maisha lazima uwe mahali. You either left or you are right. Ni heri uwe kushoto au kulia. You either woman or man. Uwe mwanamke au uwe mwanaume. You either schooled or unschooled. Uwe msomi ama usiwe msomi. Are you with me? Je, tuko pamoja? So you are either believing in prosperity or poverty heri uamini kufanikiwa ama uamini umaskini so before you judge people this is a prosperity gospel ask yourself who am i 
kabla we kutoa maoni useme huyu ni wa kufanikiwa jiulize mimi ni nani mimi ni wa gani pande gani hallelujah hallelujah and that's why we read in second corinthians chapter 4:13 and since we have same spirit of faith according to the to what is written i believed and therefore i spoke we also believe and therefore speak ndipoza tuko na hiyo roho na tukaamini na ndivyo hivyo tunanena Mm. And finally, na mwisho, mwisho. your faith in God determines your fate in life. Imani yako kwa Mungu inaongoza hatua yako ya maisha hii. In Matthew chapter number 9 verse 27 28 29. Matthew 9:27 28. The Bible says when Jesus departed from there, two blind men followed him crying out saying, Son of David, I must your nurse verse 28. And when he had come into the house Uh, the blind man came to him and Jesus said to them do you believe that i am able to do this jesus was asking do you believe i'm able to do this yes wakauliza mnaamini naweza fanya hivyo they said to him yes lord wakamwambia ndio bwana then he touched their eyes akagusa macho yao na kusema according to your faith let it be to you iwe sawa na imani yenu mnavyoamini according to your faith let it be to you iwe sawa na imani yenu na iwe kwenu my prayer is the same naombi langu ni sawa die whatever you believe chochote unachoamini creates your fate yanaumba maisha yako ya mbele believe you would die poor poor shall you die amini utakufa maskini utakufa maskini believe you are good for nothing good for nothing shall you be amini wewe ni bure utafanyika bure you are believe determines your fate in life imani yako inaongoza maisha yako so from today kwa hivyo kutoka leo before you believe every useless whatever kabla kuamini yote ambayo ni ya bure interrogate what you are told carefully chunguza kile ulicho ndio kwa uangalifu Okay I don't know here Mimi sijui hapa But me I live my life Kile mimi naishi maisha yangu I got AstraZeneca vaccine Ehe mimi ama mchungaji alipata hiyo shindano ya COVID inaitwa AstraZeneca Mimi huyu nahubiri Ehe mchungaji huyu anahubiri hapa alidungwa shindano hiyo Kwanza ngapi Alidungwa shindano mbili Maybe here there are people who believe that hiyo kitu kiwekwa wewe kufa Mm, watu wana imani pengine tofauti. What you believe determines your fate. I will not die before my time. How many believe so? Ngapi wanaamini hivyo? Premature death is on my portion. Mauti ya haraka sio sehemu yangu. But like Paul, I will not blame you for believing what you have believed. Kama Paulo sitakulaumu kuamini kile ambacho unaamini. Do not interfere with a man who does not believe in eating meat wewe wewe usishughulike na mtu ambaye amini kukula nyama but don't condemn me if La, i eat meat lakini wewe usinihukumu nikikula nyama so for me vaccine is in the system shindano hiyo iko ndani ya mwili if you have not received it kama wewe hujapata shindano hiyo you are still a kenyan you are blessed going to heaven guni are you here unanisikiza and you will not die wewe like covid hautakufa kwa ugonjwa wa corona na wale mmepata sindano msiende ku threaten wengine mimi niko safe mimi niko covered you are you're not covered wewe huko hujafunikwa so let us let us remove fear wacha tuondoe uoga there's a lot of things going out there in the in the social media and when you read you, you begin to shake where you are seated una vitu vingi vinaendelea kwa mtandao unaposoma unaanza kukua na uoga so if you have the injection in your body kwa hivyo kama una shindano mwilini i came for you nimekuja kukuambia we are going to live tutaishi we will not die hatutakufa no evil shall befall you at all hakuna hofu itakaribia mlango wako and if you don't have injection kama una shindano corona will not kill you corona itakuangamiza you will live to see the salvation of god utaishi kuona wokovu wa mungu so don't condemn those who have not don't condemn those who have wewe usihukumu wale ambao wana shindano usihukumu wale ambao wana shindano people did as they were convicted watu walifanya jinsi walivyoshawishika your faith in god imani yako kwa mungu determines your faith inaongoza hatima yako it's not the injection the vaccine that determines no sio shindano sio dawa ndio inakuongoza i 
want you to stand on your feet. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.